Sam enchanted evening. He flung open the door to the French villa and there she stood, silhouetted in the cathedral-like window as pinkish, yellowish, bluish, orangish morning sunshine played off her larger than average but nonetheless beautiful shoulders. He gazed like a cow at her long black curls cascading down her larger than average but nonetheless beautiful shoulders and his heart ached with love. Antonio knew this would be the morning when he asked Isabella the most important question of his life. He slowly walked towards her, their eyes locked like rusted scissors, and he gently touched her cheek with his pointing finger. She gasped quietly and turned her face up, her lips quivering like warm pudding with the anticipation of being kissed. And then Antonio locked on like a suction cup, and they bust long and hard, like in that movie Nine and a Half Weeks. Breathlessly, Isabella broke away, her face glistening with the sweat of a short order cook on a busy night, and whispered hoarsely, Yes, Antonio, what is it? Tell me, my darling poo poo cupcake. He grabbed her once more, fiercely this time, and threw her down on the bearskin rug, her head getting bonked by that of the bears. He ripped open her 100% faux silk blouse, the buttons dropping like loose teeth, and growled into her chest. Do you want to come over for fish tonight? Isabella dug her fingernails into his back, breaking only one, and screamed passionately, Oh, yes, 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 oh, yes, yes, Antonio, especially if you serve it over a bed of lusty mashed potatoes. Hi, I'm Robin Benzie. Welcome to Chow Time. I am in the midst of making a batch of lusty mashed potatoes. So I peeled and chunked three very large russet potatoes and I've been letting them boil for about 15 minutes and those are nice and tender. So I'm going to take them off the heat, bring them over here and drain them. Put them back in my pan. And while they are nice and hot, I'm going to add three tablespoons of butter, room temperature butter. And also three tablespoons of milk. I'm going to mash them up with my electric mixer. And now we're going to add some spices to make them lusty. About a half a teaspoon each of black pepper, cayenne pepper for some heat, granulated garlic, dried oregano, And finally, salt. And we'll just give it another little spin. We'll let the potatoes be right now, and we're going to cook our salmon. 
I have a two pound salmon fillet that I place in a pan with a little bit of olive oil on the bottom. I want to add just a little more on the top just to keep it nice and moist. Just a healthy drizzle. Then I'm going to poach it in the oven in some liquid. So I have a half a cup of orange juice and I'm going to add a half a cup of white wine. I'll just pour that all over the top. This goes in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes until it's perfectly poached. Now while the salmon is cooking, I'm going to take about a cup's worth of pecans and just chop them up coarsely. There, that looks about right. You don't want to chop them up too much because you want them to be recognized as pecans. What I'm going to do is saute them in a small skillet in two tablespoons of butter. with just a little sprinkling of salt. And this will just take a minute. We want to release the natural oils of the pecans. My salmon is almost done. I, I'm just warming up the mashed potatoes a little bit. Those are, that's good. So now we'll put the whole thing together. Pile those mashed potatoes on the plate. We'll spread them out a little bit. Now it's time for the salmon. That looks perfectly done because it's just started to brown around the edges a little bit. It's starting to just separate a little bit. That means it's cooked all the way through. We'll let that rest for just a minute before I put it on top of those lusty mashed potatoes. I'm going to use the two spatula method of transferring the salmon over there. It broke a little bit, but that's okay. Now I'm going to top it with all these wonderful crunchy pecans. And then I like to finish the dish off with some diced tomatoes. I just diced one tomato just for color. I'm going to grab a taste and I'm going to get everything in this one bite. The spicy mashed potatoes, the orange poached fish, pecans, I wonder where Antonio is.